Mary taught me how to stick it to the man, even if the man's a woman. So I knew I had to start a band. Wow, a year ago today. That's amazing. Part of me has always felt like this day would never come. But that day was seriously the best and the worst day of my life. This is just something that I wanted to experience on my own, you know? All the other books I went back to friends' houses and read it with them and enjoyed it. This one, it was just me and Harry. It's kind of funny how a period of time can feel so long and so short at the same time. It's really hard to believe that a year ago today, I had just gotten this. I didn't know what happened, I didn't know who died, I didn't know who lived. One year ago today, Deathly Hallows came out. One year ago today, I didn't know any of you. And this book is like one of the best things that's ever happened to me in life. <laughs> it. I can't even explain to anyone how much this fandom has changed my life and this phenomenon that is Harry Potter. It's why I'm here right now, why you're watching me right now. And it was everything that I waited for. It was everything that I wanted it to be. I was sitting in the den in my house with Jen, Jackie, and Suze reading the last Harry Potter book, which I thought would never come. I was asking somebody to pass the tissue box or downing another cup of coffee. One year ago today, uh, Brittany and I were playing Wizard Rock shows and totally stressed out because all I wanted to do was go home and read my book. I had to go play personal stuff for kids. Worst decision ever. Why, hello, Hermione. Your hair looks bushier than the movies. It's kind of difficult to talk about, you know? You know, what do you, what do you say about it? Like, it's over. But that's exactly it, you know? It's not over. Here I am, now, and I've read it. And on one hand, it feels like yesterday, and on the other hand, it feels like a lifetime ago. You know, I hate to give Harry all the credit for all the amazing stuff that has happened in my life in the past couple years, but he kind of deserves it. One year ago, I was almost done. I read almost all these pages, and then I shut the book for the last time. So let's review my life as a Harry Potter fan from the last year. I'm lucky that Harry Potter wandered into my life when I was six years old, and it's got me some of the most incredible people in the world, and I just... Thank you, darling. <laughs> Thank you so much. For Harry Potter fans, it was just the beginning. You know? It's the fandom. The fandom has brought me so many things, but, I mean, credit is still due to Harry Potter. <laughs> Deathly Hallows. Prophecy. My first Harry Potter convention. I met Christina for the first time. Then I met Lauren for the first time. I met J.K. Rowling. I partied with crazy Harry Potter fans some more. More than a year ago, I didn't know what it would feel like to hold this. And now I'm never going to forget it. It's brought me a band, it's brought me some of my best friends in the entire world, it's brought me the boy I have a crush on, it's brought me everything. <laughs> Between you and me, I carry this, which is a little Luna, everywhere I go in my purse. We've been through a lot together, haven't we, Harry? God, I don't even know where to go from there. So much has happened, not just in my life as a Harry Potter fan, but in my life in general. I can't even imagine a life without Harry Potter, and it's really kind of making me emotional to think that a year ago today, we got the last book. Today, with Harry Potter fans, of course, I'm meeting Jerry for the first time today, and honestly, I can't think of a better way to spend the one-year anniversary. I'm really happy that I get to spend the one-year anniversary with one of the most amazing people in my life, Rosiana. It's just going to be a very emotional time, and I'm... I'm really lucky. You know, we don't have a new book coming out, but we still have our friendships, and those are just stronger than they were last year, in my opinion. I'm really, really thankful for Harry Potter. I love these books a lot, 
but what I love and care about is not the books per se, but it's all of you guys, and it's the other four girls, and it's all of the Wizard Rock bands, and anyone I've ever met who came to one of my shows. But God, can you believe it's been a year? And what a year. And all of that is stuff that I would never trade in for anything. My name's Haley G. Hoover, and I didn't send in a video clip, but my friends still love me. remember that all was well. All was well! Oh, John Green! Oh! 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 Wait. We weren't supposed to talk about this book? Um, okay, wait, hold on. Give me a second, give me a second. I got this, I got this. Oh, oh, there we go. I love you, Harry. I love you, Harry. Harry, don't leave me. Don't leave me, Harry. Harry, you're going to survive. I know I know you're going to survive, Harry. It's going to be okay. My name is Haley G. Hoover. I love Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. Don't be sad, Margo. I know I know it's the end of Harry Potter, but but it's going to be okay. I promise. We're going to go and we're going to hang out with all of our Harry Potter friends and it's going to be okay. We have the other four awesome girls. Don't worry, Margo. Don't cry. It'll be okay.